Welcome, guys, to the very final episode of Chick Chat Live. I'm so happy. I want to thank you guys for sticking with me. On this episode, we don't have a hot topic. I have my single ladies. It's an episode I'm dedicating to single women, and we're going to share with you the struggles, some of the perks, if there are any, of living in Lagos as a woman and a single woman. So joining me in the studio today is Director of Public Relations, Nanessi Ebro. Welcome to the show. I have Dodo, who's like superstar <laughs> makeup artist extraordinaire. Well done with everything you're Thank doing. You. Welcome to the show. And Imi Teme Abdike, hospitality consultant of life. You busted it up, girl. <laughs> yes. So welcome, guys. So I'm going to start with you, Nessie. Yes. I want to talk about living in Lagos. Everybody always asks, what's it like? How can you do it? You know what I mean? Living in Lagos. I quite enjoy it. Um, but there are, some, there are a lot of things that I do find very frustrating and annoying and backward about living in Lagos. It's almost regressive. The world is moving forward with gender equality and there's still a lot of things that are holding us back here. So can you speak to like what it's like living as a single woman? Do you not, does it not in your own sphere of influence? Are you not affected by it, by gender in any way? No, I'm highly affected by it. Um, I moved from America where I lived a very independent life. Mm -hmm. I lived on my own. I had a great job. Mm -hmm. You know, I did everything for myself. Moving back to Nigeria, you move back into your parents' house. Mm -hmm. You cannot live alone because mm -hmm. that's seen, you know, as somehow. Loose. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you know, there's only certain jobs that you can get. Even mm -hmm. things as little as driving yourself every day mm -hmm. that's an issue people mm -hmm. look at you crazy every time i hop out of my car it's like oh my god she drove herself yes mm -hmm. i did my hands mm -hmm. were what do you think that is like, like i i i haven't noticed it and i, I drive myself yeah, so I, don't know. I, I don't know well i mean it is partially because of my fact that my car is very large but okay. mm -hmm. in addition to that i just don't think that people really expect a woman to mm -hmm. be like driving herself all day mm -hmm. every day and kind of handling her own business by herself mm -hmm. it's it's a strange thing. You are supposed to be dependent on someone as mm -hmm. a woman in Nigeria, mm -hmm. which is a very backward thing since everyone else seems to be living in 2017 and we're still living in 1985. Mm -hmm. So you feel like you, 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 people always, people question your lifestyle if you don't have a man that seemingly supporting, that's overtly supporting mm -hmm. you driving an SUV. Yeah. So even if it's not even a flashy SUV, yes. it's just an SUV. Yes, it's um, like a thing that people pinpoint and they're just like, how? why we don't understand mm -hmm. every every small thing you do particularly in lagos mm -hmm. um if you don't have a man on your arm it's like either a man has to be supporting you or your daddy has to be supporting you there's mm -hmm. just no option that you could, could ever do possibly own. be doing and have all these things on your, your own. own okay so let me let me let me just ask to you you know anytime as bluntly or, or or make the statement as bluntly as i can do you think singleness will ever be as honorable as marriage um, no. Okay. <laughs> in, okay. in Nigeria, no, no. to put okay. it in a simple way. Because I have a boyfriend. Mm -hmm. for, I've been dating on and off for about two years. Mm -hmm. And everyone is just like, that's not good enough. Mm -hmm. You need to be married. That's mm -hmm. where your status as a woman, you become mm -hmm. a woman when you're married. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could have a boyfriend, you could have a great career. That does not matter. Mm -hmm. like, what equates a full woman mm -hmm. is you being married. Mm -hmm. And as someone who has always pursued career mm -hmm. over everything else, because I feel like that's... You, what's that's, important to you. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what my achievements, this is what I've done for myself. Mm -hmm. It's very worrying. I lived in England for a long time where people just cohabit with their mm -hmm. partners and everybody's happy to just exist as long as you're happy. Mm -hmm. Now, me personally, I want to get married. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I but no, um, singleness does not create wholeness in mm -hmm. Nigeria, especially in Lagos, where if you're single, and as you said, you live, I live by myself. Mm -hmm. And I've had aunties and random colleagues tell me, you need to move into an auntie's house, oh, dish your car, mm -hmm. start taking a taxi because mm -hmm. no one is going they to marry you. you. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. doesn't that go against the reality of guys yeah. are looking for someone that is bringing something to the table. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't have, at yeah. least your parents better have something. Yeah. You know what exactly. I mean? Like, seriously, like a lot yeah. of guys in this day and age, I feel like if you're not necessarily some guys and I'm talking some about guys. our age yeah. group I'm talking yeah. about our age group you know what I mean yeah. um, feel like you must be bringing something to the mm. table so how are our parents telling us to regress when the facts are people want women who are doing something with their hands to be honest like um, I have a few friends who said they want women and the women mm. they've dated in the past are all women that bring stuff to the table they get married they put the wife in the house and she's not doing nothing mm -hmm. mm. so we say that is mm -hmm. it, it's what. Ideally, will be because ultimately, I guess everyone is exposed. Mm -hmm. But reality is, in Nigeria, a lot of guys are looking for a housewife. 
No. They're not looking for you to achieve, Same. achieve, but don't achieve that much. Okay. Okay. Achieve, but don't don't become the CEO of your company. Just be like a very good staff. Mm-hmm. You know, like I feel like um, I'm blessed to have. So you're like pretty much you're. <laughs> so are you saying that you're pretty much almost like a peasant in mar- like once you yeah. marry, you almost become a peasant yeah. in your own. They in want your you to be dependent yeah. on your husband. Mm-hmm. Like for instance, uh, I'm doing a long distance relationship mm-hmm. at the moment, and um, a lot of people are like, "What are you doing? Just quit your job, move, move over, and then just get married to your boyfriend." Him, yeah, I'm like. Then what? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, then I'm just gonna sit there and look at him all day. Like he yeah. might be like, "Go away, you yeah. tricky lady." But yeah. I feel like um, in Nigeria, you have to have a man, and not mm-hmm. just a man. You have to have a husband mm-hmm. because that's what makes you a real woman. Okay. So, do you have any issues with um, living alone? Have you ever been? Do you live alone? Like, no, I. I okay, don't okay. So you're right? conforming. <laughs> I, I, I don't leave my parents' house. I live with my brother. So. Okay. In a it's way, kind of living, living, yeah. Yeah. you're outside. I don't, home, yeah. yeah, I don't have a curfew or whatnot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like most times, mm-hmm. you know, men our age say they want a powerful, independent woman. Mm-hmm. But the honest truth is that how many of them can really deal, deal with, with that? It. Mm-hmm. Because you're asking someone to mm-hmm. not really depend on you, mm-hmm. right? Um, and I just feel like in Nigeria, just a lot. Like in Lagos, you know, you go to a bar or a restaurant, and they're mm-hmm. like, "Who are you here with?" I'm like, yeah. "Okay, right." Right. A bunch of girls were <laughs> yeah. here to eat, mm-hmm. or you know, in front of a club, mm-hmm. they're like, you know, yeah. who are you coming who are you with? Coming with? And it, or even sometimes it just wouldn't serve you right because they feel mm-hmm. like, oh, she wouldn't tip me, she's yeah. a woman now, or you're reversing, and someone, like, now woman now, that's mm-hmm. why you're driving that way. Just mm-hmm. so many things that the it's just a, yeah, yeah. The, enjo- the environment just like shuns it in your face, like mm-hmm. you need a man. Yeah. And I'm just what has like, been your worst, worst experience feeling like a woman? Okay, so this time I was driving, right? Mm-hmm. And then there was this guy who swerved up, like, you know, he just came on my lane. Mm-hmm. And in a car of, like, girls who were like, oh, no, meet this guy. So mm-hmm. I drove up, I'm like, I'm a woman. like, are you okay? What's wrong with you? Yeah. Can you imagine? Do you know that this guy got up from the from his car? This is on the express, mm-hmm. right? He walks to us and he's banging my window. My yeah. window. He's mm-hmm. like, I will break it. Look at all these, you know, Asher was all these small girls talking mm-hmm. to me. I was shaking. I was mm-hmm. so angry. Like, mm-hmm. I had a pepper spray, but mm-hmm. I was like, I, I, I just, defend yourself. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm just like, if, you know, mm-hmm. and I'm just like, this guy wouldn't do that if yeah, there was a man in this car. car. Yeah. Or even if you weren't in this yeah, country. Yeah, exactly. Because you or feel like there's a, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You you know know there's a justice system that will protect you. There's just you. so mm-hmm. much that has happened, even with police officers, just mm-hmm. so much mm-hmm. that just makes it obvious that mm-hmm. Nigeria will always play catch up. Does it make you feel helpless? It does. Mm-hmm. It does. But most times, like for me, I would I would fight until I can't fight. fight I mean, yeah. not physical, but I would I yeah. would stand up. That's and, your personality. And, yeah, that's resilient. my personality yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's just it's just it's just really disturbing. Mm. Have you ever felt helpless, like in a situation? I mean, um, you're quite strong. I was about to say I don't know that I've ever yeah. had that kind of situation because mm-hmm. I've been raised to be very independent. Mm-hmm. My dad has always been one of mm-hmm. those like. You can push it. You can mm-hmm. push the limit. You can push the limit. No, I mean when so, external forces now are in your yeah, face with so the fact even that you, well, you can't protect yourself. Like, yeah, I'm kind of like, okay, bring it on. Yeah. And I think that that's one thing that shocks men in Nigeria. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When a woman yeah. is like, okay, Fate, then what? Yeah. Yeah. Then they're like, oh, she's hold yeah. on, wait. She's not just going to back down. Um, but there have been many instances, particularly in traffic, actually, when yeah. you bring that up, mm-hmm. where that's probably one of the main places is- that you would actually feel uncomfortable as a woman yeah. in Nigeria mm-hmm. is in traffic, in mm-hmm. public situations like that. Um, but I've never had anything that drastic happen mm-hmm. to me before. So you're saying that, you, would it be fair to say most men, right? Let's not make a blanket statement. <laughs> most men cannot handle a strong woman that they say they want. Yes. Because you want the independent woman, like yeah. you were saying. I you want that so. independent woman and then when, yeah, they're intimidated an, by it yeah. when you're actually in the situation. They only want an independent woman up until a certain level, up mm-hmm. until where it suits them. I want you to have enough so that you can do enough on your own without calling me for every little thing. But when it comes to something big or major in life, I don't want you to have the freedom mm-hmm. to be able to do that without... Is that an ego thing? Is that a competition thing? What is that thing? It's definitely an ego thing. And it's also just the way that men are raised in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. It's what you've been told and it's also what you've seen. It's what you're copying because you're seeing your parents do that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know lots of women who are 
rich enough to do whatever they want, independent enough to do whatever they want, but they actually bring themselves down for their husband's sake, mm-hmm. just so that he when feels... When you say bring themselves, I mean like dumb, they down yes, they dumb down their intelligence. Yes, they dumb down their intelligence. They don't do the things that they want to and would otherwise feel free to do mm-hmm. because they just want their husband to be comfortable or they mm-hmm. want him to feel safe in the relationship mm-hmm. or they don't want to overstep their yeah. boundaries. boundaries. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. but really, what are your boundaries? Mm-hmm. You've worked hard. You have the freedom to do whatever you mm-hmm. want. You're an adult. You're an intelligent, yeah. capable mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. person you should be able to make decisions yeah. for yourself but nigerian society dictates that we kind of take a step back and mm-hmm. let the man take the lead or let your husband you mm-hmm. know have the front row mm-hmm. or whatever it is so speaking of career right so as a woman you're you're going for it you, yeah. you started off small like oh i have this talent and you're building it to something has anyone ever been intimidated by you um, because you're you're not just a behind the scenes makeup artist, you have a personal brand. Um, have you had a problem with that in your relationships? I have not, because mm-hmm. for me, I am. I, I generally would not get attracted to someone who has that trait. Mm-hmm. Okay. And I, I would see. So you're, one, you're spotting it. Yeah, I, I, like I know how to just call the bullshit from mm-hmm. the beginning. I'm like, nah, you mm-hmm. know. Work but but for me, it's it's more or less like my parents telling mm-hmm. me. You're traveling too much. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, when you get married, you cannot be traveling like this. Because so, yeah. I'm going, oh, mommy, I'm going to London yeah. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. Or I'm going to Enugu next tomorrow. She's yeah. like, ah. you know, your husband, you have mm-hmm. to find something, you know, a hand that you don't really have to. And I'm just mm-hmm. like, who says that? Mm-hmm. Whoever is going to marry me mm-hmm. or whoever I'm going to get married to, right? Should understand. She- already knows the nature of my job Mm -hmm. it's left for me to say oh i don't feel oh maybe i need to spend more time with my family Mm -hmm. or it really depends Mm -hmm. right because growing up my my dad used to be a diplomat so we moved around a lot around so if my mom could do that with him Mm -hmm. i'm expecting that Mm If you really you understand, understand the nature of my job and we've spoken about it and you know what you're getting into, mm-hmm. there's, I'm not pretending here. Mm-hmm. This is my this mm-hmm. is my life. On right. weekends, I wouldn't be at home. Mm-hmm. So you need to understand mm-hmm. that on Saturday morning, you're I'm picking probably, up the kids. Yeah, yeah. On Saturday <laughs> morning, I'm at work. The same way on Monday mornings, I probably wouldn't disturb you at yeah, work. Yeah. You know, so just basically understanding my schedule and my life and being ready to take it on. Mm-hmm. You know. Okay, so is that an age thing that you became comfortable with? You know, like at 25, honey, I was traveling to Kafanchan with any man. You know what I mean? Like, if you know, I would have gone anywhere, I think, I think you know. So, mm. um, I feel like after a certain age, and this happened to me, you want to be stable. You don't want to take opportunities because you think, ah, let me sit down where, you know, you feel like, okay, most people that move back because they thought they were going to find their man in Nigeria, he's not here, <laughs> right? You move back to Nigeria thinking that there's this, you know, fleet of men all over the place and you're just going to select and someone is just going to approach you, right? And I struggled with, okay, in my career, I need to be flexible. Like, you move around a lot. I need to be able to, you know, if there's a job somewhere that's paying Forex right now, I'm going for that. You know what I mean? So, I then started, you know, battling it with myself that, is this stable? Are you placing yourself in a stable environment where a man can't find you? And I had to speak to myself like, oh, girl, you better seize the opportunity while yeah. it's here because you can't live your life almost... It, I don't, and I don't know where that came from because, I mean, both my parents are gone. I didn't really have, like, a structure of, oh, love is so good. I don't have a fluffy idea of, mm. of love. I do, like, fairy tale, but why am I... I why have I... Wh- where has that thing yeah. come from? Do you understand? Yeah, it's so deep-rooted yeah, that, you know, you feel like you don't want to yeah. travel. Ah, you won't find my... I think as... I think as... I think as... I think men are generally selfish. Mm-hmm. It will mm-hmm. always mm-hmm. be at your terms mm-hmm. when they want it mm-hmm. and if it just works for them. Mm-hmm. But for us, we're like, oh, how does he feel? Is mm-hmm. he going to receive it? Mm-hmm. How's this person going to receive it? Mm-hmm. We are more like... We we're nurtured. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're nurtured generally. Mm-hmm. We're softer about other people's feelings and sometimes we suppress our own feelings. Mm-hmm. But when you when mm-hmm. you actually get to a a certain age where you've come to terms with the fact that this is who I am, I'm mm-hmm. a strong woman, and this will never go away. I yeah. can't keep suppressing yeah. myself and my happiness. Then you mm-hmm. put yourself first. Right. And that is when you, you actually mm-hmm. start becoming happy, happier. Okay. And I think also women are just planners. Mm-hmm. And I think that's part of the whole issue is mm-hmm. that we sit down and we see a life that yeah. we want to live. Mm-hmm. And so we think, what's the best way of achieving this? Mm-hmm. How do we get this from A to, yeah. B, to B? Mm-hmm. And how do we do it the fastest way mm-hmm. possible? And so we sit down and we think about it and we plan it. Mm-hmm. Whereas a guy is just kind of like, when it comes, it comes. When she's oh, there, she's there. there. She's right. the one, she's the one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas we're like, yeah. I need you to have this, 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 this and yeah. this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And this is exactly how my life is going to be planned out. So in order to do that, I sit my ass down right here in Lagos mm-hmm. until X, Y, Z happens. Mm-hmm. And then my plan 
is moving forward. Yeah. But that's just not the reality of life. Yeah. Okay. So speaking, uh, so like, well, you've just spoke, spoken about men and marriage. Um, what is more important to you, children or marriage? Children. children. Okay. Definitely so if children. you were, you know how people say, oh, when you reach 40 and the man has not come, would you have a baby yourself? Oh, I definitely would. Okay. I definitely would. Okay. No you want to do it alone? It. I have no problem doing it alone. Okay. I've seen people do it alone before. Mm-hmm. I know many people who do it alone. Obviously, that's not my first choice. I'm not going to be like, oh, yeah. let me just go have this baby by myself. So, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. But I think that... But do you have a cutoff mark in your to... head? Because I've heard the age is 40, like at the very max... If I'm not married by 40, I'm having a child. No, 40 is too oh, far, far for me. 40 is too far. I'd probably do it before 40. Really? Are you serious? Yeah. So you yeah. want to raise the kids younger than life? Okay. I'm definitely doing it before 40. And you're not uncomfortable yeah, with what, yeah, what yeah. the perception of the single... Because I feel like before, right? Like, let me say before. Let me just go 10 years back. When people got pregnant, it was such a yay. Ooh, ha. You know what I mean? It happened to you. Yeah. I think now people are planning single parenthood. Like, yeah. I, I, I feel like, is that something that is feminist? Because that is a choice that women are making. And I, 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 I like that women are making the choice. However, the choice to do it alone at the, I don't know if it's the expense of the child is where I'm kind of like, mm. is it a you thing? Is it a selfish thing because of you? Or is it really one of those things? Well, well, God, if he ain't come along, there is a sperm bank. Right. You know I what I'm saying? You made that available. You gave somebody wisdom <laughs> for the sperm bank. You know what I mean? So I feel like why, why, um, You're owning it, really, so explain yeah, that. I don't really think that it's at the expense of your child. Like, of course, it would be ideal to have a man in their life, but a father isn't the only man that you can have no. in your life. Mm-hmm. You have uncles, you have grandfathers, and you have just people who are your friends. Mm-hmm. You have male friends mm-hmm. who would be just as good, if not sometimes a better influence so you're like, in your have child's the child life than... And let the village raise the child. That's right. That's right. They didn't call it on the village. For no reason. It's there for a reason. Okay. So, go so for it. You, would, you would have a child um, if you weren't married by a certain age? For sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm so shocked because yeah, I actually sure. wouldn't. I, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Really? I, I, I wouldn't. I don't like the idea of doing it alone. And I think it's just because I keep referencing my upbringing. Like, my mother was a single mother. And I don't think that there's any merit to the struggle. Like, who has that struggle help? She was too independent. She did it well. But I just I just would like to do it with a partner. Yeah, I wouldn't love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, right, know, I, I know. I understand push, that. But I would take that push. as my fate in life. I yeah. wouldn't then seek to go and be pregnant alone. So would you not have so you would not have I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't intentionally do it. Oh. That wouldn't be my intention. My, and I do like kids, and I do actually feel like kids are a little bit more important than the man, but I just wouldn't. My first friend was actually 30. Oh. I turned 30 four days ago. Well, you don't find oh, a man wow. now. <laughs> well, you got the little boo. So I'm surprised you say 40. 40 is so No, 40 oh. is the age where it's like they, yeah. people have really given up on you and marriage. <laughs> like, yeah. 40 is really that age. Yeah. Yeah. Right I, feel, yeah. Yeah. I feel like right now, like most of the like women that I know in their 30s or late 30s that mm. are single freeze your eggs. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I do, I do agree. Three. But it's so expensive in Nigeria yeah. and like, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, you know. <laughs> I, talk, I actually talked about that with my friend and if it wasn't like, it, it's a little bit too expensive now but mm. I do believe in yeah, that process yeah. of if you're not sure, time is clocking, you're almost halfway to 40, okay? Yeah. Think I'm well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's, speaking of like children, I'm going to go to, um, the pressure to have the male child. Mm-hmm. Like, we're talking about the regressive, you know, um, what, what are those things called? The um, stereotypes that, mm-hmm. that that we have. What is the thing about the male child? Like, you know, they're always like, oh, I quickly have a boy. Do you think that's where it kind of comes from? When people say, oh, they sort of value the male child more than the female child. It's definitely part of the issue that we have as mm-hmm. a society. And I mean, we're not alone in the world. There Does that happen in your so... network? Have you, because it's, yes. it seems like it's only like a particular no. um, 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 no, class no. in society no, that no, thinks that way. But there are a lot of middle class, even, yeah. you know, it's exposed people board. that have this thinking. It's across yeah. the board. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> for instance, when my sister had a boy, mm-hmm. Everybody was overjoyed. They all wanted to pretend like it would have been okay because she did the whole, I'm not going to know until we yeah, actually have, have the baby. baby. And everyone was like, oh, whatever God gives us. Mm-hmm. There were 15 people in the waiting room when she had him. Mm-hmm. And when they came out and said it was a boy, literally people were crying, mm-hmm. like from excitement. Mm-hmm. And this wasn't just like my dad's family. This was also my mom's American family. family. Right. When like, thank God, mm-hmm. it's a boy. Like, yeah. It was exciting 
crazy mayhem mm -hmm. all because it was a boy. I'm mm -hmm. sure everybody would have been excited if it was a girl, but I feel like it would have been more like, oh, mm -hmm. yeah, a girl. Right. It was a boy. It was like, oh, hey. we're dropping to our knees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. So, I mean, it do definitely you, exists. Do you? So let me ask you, do you think that that male, how, how can we change that perception? Because it is happening. Wives are getting harassed. You have one girl, and maybe because secondary infertility is huge. Like, it's actually much more of a, it's, it's more of a struggle trying the second time sometimes than it is the first time. So how, what do we need to say to kind of defend ourselves or kind of, you know, let people know that this is actually not cool? I think, I you think, know? I think, I think the, 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 the perception and the mindset is that, mm -hmm. okay, you know, when you have a boy and he's taking on the family mm -hmm. legacy, mm -hmm. he's running the business, he's, you know, carrying yeah. on the family name. But the truth is that, that was back then. Mm -hmm. Right now, women are doing those exact, the exact same, same thing. thing. Mm -hmm. And know? even better. Yes, yeah. that, exactly. There, there mm -hmm. are many people that I know, and even in my family, there are just different instances where the women, mm -hmm. and most likely, like the younger, like, mm -hmm. daughter, or whatever, is even owning yeah. so much, much more than mm -hmm. even the first son. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so the, the purpose of that, you know, mm -hmm. thing, where it's like, oh, this is the, the son, child, yeah. exactly, has been defeated. So what's really the point? Mm -hmm. yeah. I can still run the company as a woman. Mm -hmm. I can still make this family proud as a woman. Mm -hmm. I can still do all of that. So mm -hmm. what's really the point if mm -hmm. I can do those things? Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like with time, well, Mm -hmm. I wouldn't know because obviously Girl, I don't have a child. Time, but it's like, been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> how much time? With time. I know, I know. But mm -hmm. I just feel like, I feel like with time, hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. we, 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 we kind of drop that mindset and mentality because mm -hmm. it doesn't go, it's not, it makes no sense to be honest. Mm -hmm. What do you think we, 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 we rank in terms of progression? You know, because we're talking about with time. Mm. So, in the world? Cool. yes. Ah. And, uh, well, let's just say, with, let's say with the West. Uh, let's say with the West, because I think America still has a lot of struggles. Of yeah, well, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. Where do you think we rank? And let me sort of make it easier to, you know, to compare. So we have all these women empowerment conferences. You know, the women business of the world, the mm. women in tech, women. There's just a lot of things going on. Um, I'm a fan of it because I believe like you can't be what you can't see. You need to see progressive people to kind of feel like, okay, I want to do that. I want to, you know, be like that. Do you think that those, you know, small events that people are having, those empowerment events are actually moving and pushing change forward? Or do you think there are a lot of these big companies that are sponsoring these events and people are not getting value for their money? Mm -hmm. You're going right back to your desk on a Monday morning and you still don't have six months paternity leave for the father. Yeah. It's just the women that still get yeah. the three months and figure it out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, yeah. I think that their laws and, you know, salary is not matching up. Men are still getting paid more than. So what is the point of this message? That's why I'm saying, where do we rank in progression? How much have we truly moved forward? Because there are things that are making noise, but where are we going with it? I think we've done a lot of progression on paper, mm -hmm. on social okay. media progression, mm -hmm. which I find yeah. a lot in social media progression. Mm -hmm. You see 20,000 20, million followers, mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Well, what's actually happening what's to, changing? People. Yeah, to the people. And I don't feel like there's that much happening because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we are our biggest enemies. Mm -hmm. So the fact that When you women, say we, you mean women? Yes, us. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, us Nigerians, okay. you know. The fact that women, a woman cannot mm -hmm. marry a foreigner and get him a international passports mm -hmm. until now it's mm -hmm. shocking mm -hmm. because why what what is the reason there's no reason oh you a woman can't you actually can't. oh can't. why what's the is there a law against there's that there's a law against like you can't do it you can't file if your husband mm -hmm. is a foreigner you can't get him a passport mm -hmm. it's crazy mm -hmm. wow and it's just like we're saying all these things but the people up there it's like when they were trying to pass the bill for the um underage marriage and mm -hmm. stuff like that and yeah. you get the these vile yeah. men mm -hmm. opening their mouths and saying no we don't think that's like how yeah okay, so, right. so all these conferences is for what for what yeah for what, what reason yeah. so we can say oh, look at me hashtag um mm -hmm. conference blah 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 yeah, like, yeah. Me and i feel like you know, girl <laughs> let's not get doing? messy no, 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 no. <laughs> keep it to myself yeah no, but it's just like what is mm -hmm. what are we actually doing? doing I feel like yeah. if we, we go to seminars and then we sign a petition, we send it to the governor or mm -hmm. the president or whatever, mm -hmm. we get these things yeah. actually working in mm -hmm. our society, great. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? But like you said, I think one of you said, like mm -hmm. the only thing is when a woman is doing something or mm -hmm. pushing for something, you're you're this or that or that. Mm -hmm. The biggest insult that mm -hmm. a Nigerian man can give a woman is you're in a shower. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. But 
How are we still there? No, conscious of, are dressing. you conscious of how you dress as a single woman when you're going into marital environment? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. You see, but that's my... Why, why is that? Why, why, why is that? Um, because... They should look now. Nah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm not marketing to you. I'm just but looking they, good. They see you know what I mean? Yeah, they see it as marketing. And yeah. that's the thing also because particularly in Nigeria, a lot of married men also don't have respect for their relationship yeah when you are in an environment where there are married people people will look at you like so you're just trying to tempt somebody's husband or you're just trying to Mm -hmm. you know what i mean and it becomes your issue Mm -hmm. not an issue of his infidelity or his roaming eye it becomes Mm -hmm. your problem because you are a beautiful single person that has nothing to do with me Mm -hmm. that's everything to do with you your Mm -hmm. roaming eye your husband's roaming eye you guys deal with Mm -hmm. that together that's not Mm -hmm. my problem but because it is Nigeria and mm-hmm. it is something that comes up so regularly, mm-hmm. you start to think about it yeah. mm-hmm. and you start to kind of form, conform to what people want, want. to mm-hmm. what people think you should be doing. Mm-hmm. But I don't even think that it's an issue that just single women have to deal with. Mm-hmm. When you're now married, it's mm-hmm. like, well, why are you wearing that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you're married. You're married. That yeah. should be only for your husband. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, mm-hmm. I don't understand. Yeah. Are there any positives to <laughs> <laughs> to living single or living as a woman in Nigeria. Do you feel you get away with stuff because you're a woman? Of course. Oh, no. Yes. All the like, time. What, what, what do you, like, what do you get away with? <laughs> what you, I don't know. I can't think of anything I've gotten away with oh because gosh, I'm a woman. So okay, so... <laughs> whenever I drive myself... Mm-hmm. So my so my so still comes back to this driving yeah, thing. Right. <laughs> this, driving, so this driving thing, yeah. A lot of so happens. much that happens on the road. Mm-hmm. When I drive myself... And I'm alone in the car, mm-hmm. and maybe for some weird reason. Okay, so my plate number is off, and it's mm-hmm. been on for a while, yeah. and I haven't yeah. just done it, right? Yeah. So like, oh, stop. Yeah. Right. Just right. After, right. Yeah. Right. You after get like, away with. Time. You get away with the authority. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. fine. Yeah. Just yeah. Fine, yeah. Or, yeah. No. Yeah. You just yeah. look like small picking. Yeah. yeah. Go. You know. Yeah. 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 But that still is a stereotype. It, it is. It, it is. still is a stereotype in a sense because yeah, woman, you're fine. They, they, they. What's the word? Um, there's a word for it. I can't think of it. It's not it. Victimized. There's a word for what they do to yeah, you. It's like kind of make still, you almost um, like you're in a child. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. yeah. Objectify. Yeah. yeah. That's the word. They object. It. Like you, you make me seem like a, a thing. Yeah. yeah. So I just feel like you know that. But I'll take them away. Really, yeah. Uh, they're not the that many positives. That, yeah, yeah. The positives aren't anything that you would they're feel not, yeah. in Nigeria different to if you were single anywhere else. Mm. I think the positives with being a woman come with marriage. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know that there's many positives with sing- except yeah. like personal happiness. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because when you're single and you don't have no baggage, oh, yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. you're good. It's definitely a personal thing. Yeah. It's not a societal thing. thing there's yeah. nobody who's going to praise you for Pretty being single. Ooh. Oh, yeah. well done, you single, hardworking woman. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. You know, pat on the back. No, mm-hmm. that's not going to happen. But from a personal standpoint, mm-hmm. there are a lot of things that you can achieve that you wouldn't be able to yeah. if you were married because yeah, there were yeah, certain sure. standards that you had to kind of me. cap out yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah. certain things you would have to do. So being single allows you that freedom. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, yeah. That's yeah. kind of where that ends. And okay. just getting to know yourself as well because mm-hmm. like, to be honest, I thought like the relationships I was in before were mm-hmm. great mm-hmm. and I had to take time out. Mm-hmm. I could, it, the same way they push you in Nigeria or mm-hmm. Ni- society, even Nigerian society in England, America, mm-hmm. or whatever, Everywhere. they push you to be in a relationship. Should, yeah. So a few years ago, just before I met my present mm-hmm. boyfriend, I had to take myself out of it completely mm-hmm. and said, you know what? I am single and I'm okay. By choice. Mm-hmm. I'm by single choice. by choice. Yes. Yeah. And I've never done that. Mm-hmm. I've never been single by choice. I'm just mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, I need to find a new boyfriend. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. How intentional were you about dating? Like, what's what, what, where, where are the places to go? What do you do? Do you have to... Because somebody told me, Cornelia, you know he's not going to come and knock on your sure. front door. He's not going to sure. knock on your bedroom sure. door, which is where yeah. I always am. Sure. So <laughs> how, do you, how do you... How intentional were you? Is it something that people need to be intentional I about if you like want to get married? You have to put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. I, I don't believe in... I mean, I'm a Christian and I'm mm-hmm. born again Christian. I don't mm-hmm. feel like just go and be bright, pray, yeah. burning yourself like, ooh, date yeah. me. But I feel like you still need to put yourself out there. Mm-hmm. If you stay at home watching Netflix all day, he's not going to pop out. From but I'm happy your... watching Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to get mad, you have to put yourself out there. But is he he's supposed to just find you? He's like, find you where? He's a stalker. He's a stalker. He's a stalker. He's a stalker. You just feel like he should, no. find, he should just text me one day. I'm like, hey, hey, hey. I think that people are so limited to like clubs mm-hmm. and lounge. Mm-hmm. in Lagos. Go to a games night. Girl. Yes. Okay, where, where, are, where, where are these games yeah. nights? Your Make your own games, games night. Call your girls and be like, hey girl, okay. bring some of your friends okay. over to my house. 
some men, please. Yeah. Okay. They got friends. Yes. You got friends. Everybody okay. has a friend of a friend yeah. that they can bring along to the party. So That's take matters really into your own hands. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, I have quite a few guy friends. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, I always try to hook them up with my female friends. I don't have any male friends. Because a rule, always. I always, like, I'm like, oh, I have this friend you should meet. <laughs> yeah. But that's, that's a good thing, because there's some friends that don't market you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, I feel like I don't have guy friends. I've always had, like, more female friends than guy friends, because most of the guys' friendships from yeah. the beginning, you already know they're same trying here, to go somewhere. Here, You're just here. like, you know what, yeah. friend zone, friend zone. Yeah, Draw friend zone. So, I don't tend to meet guys, or a lot of guys think that... Do you get this misconception that you're dating already? Like, a lot of people yeah, assume. They, if people it. think I'm borderline engaged. I'm like, where does yeah. that misconception... It's like, I'm you're, you're in a relationship. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> my ass content. is single as hell. Yeah, content. yeah. For you to be happy and content is what we'll be saying. You need a man. Yeah. 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 Why yeah. shouldn't yeah. you be? Yeah. I'm supposed yeah. to be, like, yeah. sad because I'm, yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. single yeah. and happy. they yeah. want you to be. Yeah. And then, you know, on your captions on Instagram, just all these throws. Yeah, single and sad. Hashtag searching. Hashtag, you know. Like, you see, like, but I feel like also the problem why women don't put themselves out there Mm-hmm. is because you are desperate. Mm. I've been seeing this hashtag on Instagram for the longest time, mm-hmm. team husband material. Oh, if I wrote yeah. team housewife, yeah. oh gosh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will literally insult my life. Yeah. I'm sure they'll call it and say, question, like, please don't be desperate anymore. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Even in my relationship now, they're like, please don't do this because you're desperate. Yeah. I feel like women are not allowed to put ourselves out there. But me, I uh-huh. believe, Put yourself out, out there. there. That's the only way you can find a man. Mm-hmm. Tell your friends you're looking. Because okay. if you're looking for a job, you say, yo, I'm you know, like, bitch, you don't know I've been single for how long? Why do I need to tell you more? <laughs> and tell them because maybe they think you're happy and content. I'm not like, really I'm really single, like, But shouldn't you be in the waiting, though? Shouldn't you be happy and content and that not make you look comfortable? No, but happy and content doesn't mean be, you don't need a man. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. doesn't mean you don't want to be in a relationship. Uh-huh. When I decided that I want, to, I wanted to date, mm-hmm. I went out. Yeah. I met friends. I was like, "Oh, do you have a cute guy friend? Let's go." You know, okay. like it's not. I'm not going to be like, ah, maybe I'll yeah. meet a man tonight. No, no, no. Bring your friend. You know, yeah. bring your brother, man. Sure. Right. Bring your yeah. uncles. I don't care. Uh-huh. As long as they're, you know, within. <laughs> you see, that, that kind of now like does this whole like it seems like a hunt. Seems like a desperation. Yeah. Well, yeah, I, I think. I think. I, mean, I don't know. Like, I, the, I don't know the, how the, I feel about it. I think for me, it's. Just your everyday lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't intentionally say, oh, mm-hmm. this is the strategy. Yeah. Always go for games nights. Always you mm-hmm. know, have my main help. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's not like that. But yeah. it's like, if I go to a place, mm-hmm. great. I'm open to I'm talk to... Open. Exactly. I'm yeah. going to be open. Yeah. I'm going to talk to people. I'm going to speak to new people. Yeah. Uh-huh. And just things like that. And that's mm-hmm. another thing about single women mm-hmm. in Nigeria. You have been so told not to be desperate, not mm-hmm. to be this, not to be that, that you start to close yourself off yeah. and then they now say, yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like, yeah. what do you do? Yeah. Do I be this more quiet, like quaint person in the corner mm-hmm. who's just like, mm, I don't really want to deal with that? Mm-hmm. Or do you be like, here I am in all I my think, glory? I think, mm-hmm. I think you should I, just be yourself. I feel, I, I, I'm, I'm that kind of that. person. So I'm, I truly I believe in that. No. I mm-hmm. wouldn't have a problem with that. But there are some people who can't decide what side of the line that they mm. should be on. They don't know. Yeah. I feel like yeah. when you, when you like, for instance, me personally, when I was single, if I meet a guy that I like, best believe I'm throwing signals mm-hmm. upon mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would come up to you, yeah. but maybe I'd be like, oh, hi, I would touch you. Yeah. I would smile. Okay, you know, yeah. Not like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. But she's definitely making it known that, no, you know, I'm interested. Make it known mm-hmm. that you're interested because mm-hmm. if you just most girls, you go out, you see them, they like the boy, they're just frowning. Yeah. Because they're sitting there with the beam Like, why did you come out today away? with that face? Yeah. Why not did you even leave drinking, your house? not dancing, not anything. Nothing. You're just. The, I'm, I'm sorry, boys are shy. Mm-hmm. And those are my guy friends. They're literally so terrified of approaching girls in groups because they mm-hmm. feel like you just shoot yeah. them down. But and you, you know that's the funny away. thing yeah. because. Like, <laughs> that kind of happens to me. Me and my friends, when we used to go out, there's this. Remember that thing? There was an um, Instagram meme that was going around with Beyonce doing this. Like, and it was like, <laughs> it was like that meme. It was like that meme that was saluting your friends. Like, when you go into well a club done. and you all break up, like, your friend, like, you see how one hour later with man, like, it happens. Like, it's now a cold thing. Or when we inside the club, well, girl, you better left, right. Everybody, <laughs> is, everybody better break up because they say men are intimidated when they right. see, like, so women. Yeah. They when can't I break through. weddings before, when I, like, I, I, well, before I would tell my friends, like, Let's go walk around, walk mm-hmm. around, just around, just sit down, sit down close off at the back of the table. Mm-hmm. How is he going to reach Would you? Walk right. around, make yourself open, available, like, not to be like slutty and dancing, you know, some mm-hmm. Shakira moves on the floor, mm-hmm. but open yourself up. Don't have closed postures mm-hmm. like this, mean mugging, like, 
Interacting interacting with people. Face. I feel like it's very like, actually, let me tell you about that resting bitch face though. Yes. Let me tell you about that resting bitch face. Sometimes I'm not gonna skills. lie to you. I put on that bitch face because I'm like, none of y'all have been in here. You know how you go into a place and you're like, none nah, of y'all. Oh, my good face. Your ass is married. <laughs> your ass is married. All of y'all in the rafters over there are married. <laughs> you are married. Like, you, yeah, know you, what mean? Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I think that a lot of times, like a lot of women and women who are actually ready to get married are being approached by the wrong people. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there's like a body language, so yeah, you, you know, know fence off. People I have, have rest that. Yeah, uh, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. It naturally. Yeah. I can't help myself. <laughs> But I think that it definitely comes on stronger yeah. when there's certain people. And you yeah, just have to kind of but then learn. you don't realize you have to learn it though. To like nip yeah, but do you know when you have it? Like you're not looking at yourself. No, I yeah, don't. you don't. Sometimes yeah. I yeah, it's do a thing. like feel it happening though, and uh-huh. I have to be like. Okay, because it actually happened to me once. My friends told me they were like, "Oh, Kanina, you know you switch off," and I was like, ah. "You know when your friends actually tell you, so you're like, yeah. ah, what do you mean I switch off? How? Like how can I not switch off? Because shit, time is going." So. Let me not switch off. I was not asking them, like, what do you mean? They were like, mm, if you're not interested in the conversation, I can pick up my phone. Yeah. I just, you know, I'm just, mm. I'm not rude, but I'm just, okay, you guys keep the conversation going. Mm. I'm bored. So my attention span, especially with yeah. guys like that, I lose interest very, very quickly. So the nights that they told me, I happen to be going to bottles, you know, margaritas, <laughs> it's Wednesday night. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to keep my face nice and smiley and just, not too smiley. you know, so my cousin leaves. She goes to pick up some more people who come into meet her. She goes to pick them up outside. So, of course, you know, I'm thinking, I picked up my phone. I was smiling at nothing on my phone. <laughs> I'm looking at the phone thinking, you know, a guy, I was even talking to myself and a guy, ah, nobody can see I'm not nice. A guy approaches me. He says, you look like you'd rather be anywhere else but here. I was like, you know what? I was like, I was like no in that face. Maybe you thought you were engaged. That was, yeah. Maybe that was, that was his pickup line. I mean, it that was his pickup yeah, line. For sure. Because I was like, this cannot be coincidence. You know, people talk about loneliness as though it was a bad thing. Like, empowered women or women who are, you know, single and happy aren't supposed to feel lonely. Um, have you had an experience with... with no, can you share an experience? <laughs> <laughs> Let me rephrase that. Um, where you felt like, ah, man, this single life. You know, where you actually felt single and you're like, you know. Mm-hmm. I think um, just generally when you have friends mm-hmm. that are either married mm-hmm. or all in a relationship mm-hmm. and you all hang out. Yeah. And like everyone is in pairs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And then there's this one guy yeah. <laughs> who is single, uh-huh. but like Not in his type. mind, yeah. he's here for you, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just like, nah. You yeah. know, but at that point, I'm just thinking, okay, do I really have to be here? Yeah, yeah. Just be you great if I was the third wheel. Like, yeah, you know, right. you start to feel it. Yeah. You know, um, and it's only normal for you mm-hmm. to feel lonely. Even men feel lonely. Does that make you not want to be? You see, that's why I'd be sitting in my house. Because I don't want to feel that way. Well, it means that I shouldn't hang out with yeah. all married people, people. or yeah, all, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, people so, in a relation. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you, so who are those coming? Or, you yeah, know, yeah, 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 yeah. It would just be great if it was a mix of different yeah. people. So and... that's how you vet events, yes. actually. Like, who's going to be there? Yeah. If it's all married, you're like, yeah. I'll stay home. Yeah, that's no, yeah why am I no going problem. for, like, you uh-huh. know, an all married hangout? Okay. Then What's I'll your be... loneliness experience? Have um, you had any crying nights? No, I haven't had any <laughs> crying nights. But I actually identify with her because I'm mm-hmm. saying I'm doing long distance. Mm-hmm. So I have the same situations. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like the only time that I feel lonely or I feel like I want to be is when I'm with other couples, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. married or otherwise. Mm-hmm. You know, you just feel like, oh, I wish I was doing that. Mm-hmm. stuff, you know, as well. But mm-hmm. um, I sometimes, when I, when I, I believe that when I was single before, mm-hmm. um, Solid, so loneliness equates solitude for me. Mm-hmm. I felt like it was a time of reflection. You mm-hmm. know, like in the Bible it says, there's a season for everything. Mm-hmm. I try to not look at it like, oh, I'm single. Let me just, mm-hmm. you know, I use it as a time to reflect and see like, what can I do better mm-hmm. for myself? Because I feel like mm-hmm. the more you improve yourself, the mm-hmm. better your relationship the next time mm-hmm. is. Okay. And what, what's, your, what's your experience? Um, you I, I feel like y'all aren't deep. Like, am I the only one who, <laughs> I have had some crying, like bawling out moments because I feel like, for me, commitment and stability are very important yeah. to me. So I do want to be married because I do value commitment, stability, just the stability of being with somebody and building a life together. So when, like you said, you're sitting around this one, I, in fact, there's only at least, ah, she has gone, eh, yeah, she's dating. <laughs> me, I don't even have a boyfriend, you know what I mean? Like when people are leaving the fold and the flock is getting smaller <laughs> and you start to feel like, man, this is like, fingers are starting to point to when is your own going to happen? You do feel it. I, you know, I felt it. Now, I don't let it um, weigh me down, but I think that it pops up more than just like the ones. Yeah. You know, it pops up for me. You know, it's like a constant thing you have to tell yourself, like, girl, you, you know what I mean? I don't think you're so 
single and so like I don't need a man. Fabulous. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think there's still some yeah. traditional yeah. there's a traditional yearning for that stability. Yeah. Yeah. I mean as a human being mm-hmm. you kind of just want companionship. You want somebody to be with you at all times and that's like you know, some people are okay with having that in their friendships. Like, mm-hmm. for instance, mm-hmm. I have a very, very tight-knit group of yeah. girlfriends. Mm-hmm. So for me, when I feel the lack of a man mm-hmm. being in my life, which usually yeah. only will happen in my downtime, Time. Yeah. Yeah. when yeah. I'm not with friends, when I'm not busy, when mm-hmm. I'm not at work, mm-hmm. then I have to reach out to them. them. And yeah. they kind of fill are that, able yeah. to fill, yeah, yeah, to substitute and fill that gap. But gap, obviously yeah. that's not permanent and that's yeah. not forever. forever yeah. But that's where I... Think that I would you find feel, your peace. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So for me, I realized that at a point in my life, I used to feel that way that, oh, mm-hmm. you know, am I not enough? Mm-hmm. But then I started reading this book and it's called mm-hmm. The Purpose Driven Life. Mm-hmm. And when I read that book, when I read that book, <laughs> my, mm-hmm. my, my, yeah. it changed my life life's because life, yeah. it makes yeah. you see that everything happens for a reason. Yes. 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 And this, you and have to trust the timing of your you life. You have to just trust yeah. this timing mm-hmm. and this experience, yeah. there's a reason. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Come out of yeah. it with something. Yeah. Come but out of see, it with something. So that's what I tell myself. Yeah. I always tell myself that, okay, learning. this always this is part of the plan. Yeah. This is part of the purpose. This is part of things shaping me. Uh-huh. Just like, you know, it's the diamond. Just cutting yeah. you, yeah. shopping you. I do get that. Yeah. But here's where, like, I feel like, and this is, like, I'm even taking it spiritually. I, I've questioned it's God. There. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> take it to church. It's I don't question there. God because I never understood the concept of the Sarah and Abraham thing. What is the merit to having a damn child at 90 years old? You know what I mean? I feel like there are some things that are for youth, like, and there's some prayers that should be expedient. Marriage comes with kids, and especially for us, let not clock is actually ticking. I don't want to raise babies in my 50s. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or you don't know, you want to meet the right person. You don't want to settle. Yeah. And, you know, what even annoys me more is during this period where you are actually battling with those internal demons and, you know, finding self, yeah. there are a number of people that will come to you and say, ah, you're so picky. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, they make it seem as if you are the one putting yourself in this, you know, situation. So I feel like whilst there's like a waiting period of like finding yourself and that timing is for a reason, what is the merit to the delay? Like, you know what I mean? What is what, think, what is the I merit? Think, I think I think if you just think <laughs> when about when you're gonna this, enjoy like, it in old age, you know what I mean? Like, who are the older? Yeah. The glorification of God. This yeah. is what mm-hmm. I think. I I I had to be selfless in my servitude to God because mm-hmm. uh, not to be too religious, but mm-hmm. I feel like that is now the basis of my life. Your life as yeah. a born again Christian. Mm-hmm. I feel like marriage and everything is to the glorification of God. You mm-hmm. said with Sarah and um, Abraham. Mm-hmm. I feel like. It was the purpose to mm-hmm. glorify God. Living single is hard. It's and hard. I think that a lot of men, and because of the society we live in, it's such a get up and go, hustle and bustle society, that we do forget forget the fragility yeah. that there is to being a woman. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? I don't want to put petrol in my generator. I don't want to be dealing <laughs> no, with mechanics. I, I don't want to know my gearbox. You know what I'm saying? I just, like, I'm sorry to vent, but I just paid 95K for my compressor. Now the, air, the guy in my mechanic is telling me... Someone else deals with them. Do you understand what I'm saying? The mechanic is telling me that, oh, madam, this is how you operate the compressor. I I gave you, when I turn on my AC in a car and it's the Toyota Camry, it's a ba- that's, a, that's as basic as you get with cars, right? He said you have to turn the AC all the way to the end <laughs> first, right? When I turn on my AC, normally you, turn, you put down the windows and you just put it on low until it kind of cools off mm-hmm. and you give it some time. Now I have to put it all the way to the end for the compressor to peak. <laughs> <laughs> now this is why I'm saying, Lord... I'm gonna need that husband I'm to come tired. on time oh because God. I don't want to. These are the lessons you know in I mean? life that you are li- learning, and this is why it's taking so yeah. long. Yeah. You gotta learn how to be sustainable exactly. for right. yourself. I know. I'm and just tired. You gotta I'm learn tired. how to do all those things yeah. on your own, right. so that when somebody does come around right. and they, yeah. they decide that they don't want to act right yourself, you could be like, you know what? I got your number. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you, ladies, for being so candid. I feel like we had a really single lady conversation. <laughs> <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching every week, week after week. You guys have been so supportive. Thank you guys for supporting me. This is the final episode of season one. (laughs) I'd like to thank everybody that was involved. All of you guys that watched. I'd like to thank my guests who came on the show. I'd like to thank the Disrupt TV crew. Thank you guys. I'm just shouting them out now. Um, I'd like to thank T4U Studios who um, pretty much gave us this set. Um, and thank you to my family. Um, I'd like to thank God. Why am I making this an Oscar speech? I know. <laughs> I'm getting ready. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching. I will see you next season. Until then, bye for now. Yeah.